as fears continue to grow about the nuclear situation in Japan, what does th that mean for nuclear power here in the United States? Joining us is Fox News Sunday anchor Chris Wallace. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, guys. It morning. seemed as though the nuclear power argument was just gaining some momentum. I mean, after decades of it being a bad word, suddenly yeah. people were revisiting it. What, how does this change that dialogue now? Oh, I got to think it's a total game changer. And you're exactly right, Allison, because obviously Republicans have been pushing nuclear power from some, for some time, but now Democrats were getting on board. And in fact, in his latest budget, uh, President Obama called for $36 billion in loan credits to help build new nuclear power plants. So the president and Democrats were on board the idea of nuclear power as safe, green energy, no carbon, greenhouse gas emissions. Of course, we're seeing now in Japan something a whole lot more dangerous than uh, carbon emissions, radiation. Uh, and I would think it's going to put a hold. Remember, after Three Mile Island, we had about a 30-year moratorium on the building of any new nuclear power plants in this country. We'll have to see how this plays out in Japan, but this could be another 30-year hold. Yeah, the major concerns, of course, about, uh, about the radiation poisoning there, although we've been hearing reports this morning that maybe it's overblown. And after all, it survived a 9.0 magnitude earthquake after they upped the uh, charts on that yeah. earthquake. So here is a plant that survived not only a 9.0 earthquake, it's a 40-year-old reactor, the number four, uh, four of the reactors, 40 years old, and it survived a tsunami. And at this point, only 160 people have been treated for radiation and only three have been sickened. So that's a pretty good track record. I think you're jumping the gun there, guys. I mean, first of all, I wouldn't say it survived anything, given the fact that we've already had an explosion at one of the uh, reactors. Uh, there's the possibility of meltdowns at another one of the reactors. Uh, and, and I think this is still a very active situation. So I wouldn't uh, say anything about a good track record at this yeah. point. I think that the, the situation at two nuclear power plants and multiple reactors at both is still very much in play. <laughs>